On today's Alex on Answers segment, we're talking about the 2014 Honda Accord Hybrid. I've had a decent number of questions about the Accord Hybrid lately and how it works, and especially about some of the reviews that are out there, especially Consumer Reports review on the Accord Hybrid. Now, the Accord Hybrid operates very differently than other hybrids out on the road, and I honestly think that a lot of the reviews out there where they complain about the way the drivetrain works and a lot of the comments and questions I've received about the Accord Hybrid are really based on the fact that a lot of people don't understand how it works because it is very different than everything else out there on the road. The top thing people complain or comment about in the Accord Hybrid is the fact that the engine doesn't seem to have a linear relationship with the speed that you're going. So you're driving along on the freeway at maybe, you know, 45 miles an hour or so in stop and go traffic, perhaps mild traffic, and the engine just revs up and revs down and is just doing whatever it's doing under the hood, and you're not really pressing on the gas pedal that hard in your mind. That's because of how the Honda Accord hybrid system works. The first thing you need to know is that there are two basic kinds of hybrid systems available in the United States at this time. There's a serial hybrid and there's a parallel hybrid. And you can look at them this way. So if this is the wheel of the car and uh, it's driving down the road, then in a parallel hybrid system, the gasoline engine and the electric motor, uh, I'm not a very good drawer, so you'll just have to live with this. These are both providing power to the wheel at the same time mechanically. In a Honda Accord Hybrid, that's not what happens. A Honda Accord Hybrid, the engine is over here. This is a four-cylinder engine. And uh, the engine is connected only to a generator, like that. Now, the generator generates electricity and sends it via an electrical path to a motor. And that motor then powers the wheel out there on the road. This is very different than a Prius or a Ford Fusion Hybrid or anything else that's out there right now on the market. And because of this, the engine and the generator here can spin at whatever speed is required for motive force forward or for the battery level in the car. Now the battery in the Accord Hybrid sits right here in the middle, and that's that right there. And the battery you can think of sort of as a ballast for power because power is going in and out either way. So power comes out of the battery to start the engine using this motor or generator unit right here, or it comes in and out of the battery whether you're regenerative braking or whether you're driving down the road. This system affords Honda certain luxuries that you can't get in a mechanically tied system like this, like a Toyota Prius, because in a Toyota Prius there is a mechanical connection between the engine and the wheels at all times. It can vary the relationship between the engine and the wheels, of course, in that system using the electric motor generator units, but there is always some relatively fixed ratio between the engine and the wheels. In the Honda Accord setup here, there doesn't need to be any relationship between the wheels and the engine. So the engine can be spinning at, you know, six, 7,000 RPM, and the wheels could be stationary, or the wheels could be spinning as fast as they possibly want, and the engine could be spinning, you know, about 1,000 RPM or something, because there is not necessarily a direct mechanical connection between the two. Now, now the outlier here is of course the Chevy Volt because the Chevy Volt has an operation mode that will switch between these two setups. So a Volt can operate as a parallel hybrid or as a serial hybrid. Now contrary to some of the information that's out there, Volts usually spend a great deal of time in parallel hybrid mode because it's actually more efficient than serial hybrid mode. And that reason is also why above 45 miles per hour, the Honda Accord Hybrid turns into a parallel hybrid in most situations. The way they do that is there is a clutch pack right here that sits between the generator and between the motor. And this clutch pack can lock up above 45 miles an hour and directly mechanically connect the engine to the wheels. Now there's no transmission in the traditional sense in this setup. So there's only a fixed gear ratio between the engine and the wheels when this clutch is locked up. You can think of this as sort of only having sixth gear. Now you can obviously see the problem with that if you're gonna try and climb a hill. So say you're going 60, 70 miles an hour and you wanna climb a hill, Obviously, a regular automatic transmission would need to downshift, say, fourth or fifth gear in order to accomplish that hill climb. We don't have fourth or fifth gear in the Honda Accord Hybrid. So how does this do it? Well, it just decouples this clutch pack right here in the middle, and it reverts back to serial hybrid mode. And when you're doing that in serial hybrid mode, even if you're going 60, 70 miles per hour, this engine could be revving just about as high as it possibly can to give you the torque in order to climb that hill at 60 or 70 miles per hour. Once you're done climbing the hill, the Accord Hybrid does the next thing that some people complain about. And that is that the engine right here will keep on revving relatively fast. It's doing that because it needs to return this battery to its average state of charge, right around 50% or so, in order to enable normal driving again. Once the battery reaches that state of charge, the engine will then slow back down and then resume operation as normal. Personally, I don't find anything wrong with the way the Accord Hybrid system works. I think it's a decent trade-off for the kind of fuel economy that you can really get out of that hybrid system. Now, a lot of people don't seem to understand how the Accord Hybrid system works. They think it runs basically like a Prius, and therefore they're mystified when it acts differently than a Prius. 
Personally, I think understanding the system is really the key to knowing the system better and liking the system better. The Accord Hybrid is still one of my favorite cars overall. It's definitely my favorite hybrid out there on the market right now. And uh, this is part of why, actually. The way that this hybrid system behaves is really part of why I like this system so much. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of my latest videos. I will actually have a complete series on how hybrid systems work, how they compare to one another, and most importantly, how hybrid systems save gasoline. So go ahead and click that subscribe banner down there so you can be updated on that and of course all of my weekly reviews. Go ahead and find me over at facebook.com slash alexandautos and you can always send all of your questions to alex at alexandautos.com. I'll see you later.